Hello and welcome back. I am Jason and this is episode 3 of our Oxen Free playthrough. Uh, last episode it got creepy. Um, I think I realised that this was a kind of horror game ish um, or a psychological thriller. So pretty much um, we went into the cave, Jonas and Alex, and we're Alex in this. Uh, we went into the cave and there was like a weird creepy triangle portal thing that talked through the radio. We got teleported to a tower, a radio tower, and then we spoke to Ren and Clarissa and we were on our way to find Ren. Um, and then there was just a whole bunch of creepiness. There was like a time loop thing, the creepy chair, um, and we saw Nona and told her to go back to the tower. Um, yeah, well let's get back into it. Oh, and oh, that's right, there was, um, hang on, this photo that uh, Jonas took of the soccer ball, and then there's a weird, creepy face in the background. Um, oh, just so you're aware, I've just, I've recorded this straight after the last episode, um, so any comments that you've put in, I might not have implemented yet. Um, I thought it'd be good just to get some content on the channel, but um, please leave comments for both of them. And I will um, read them and respond and um, take on board what you've got to say. Hey, just for me, I want to know. Back at the bridge, why'd you flip the switch yourself? You could have let me do it. I'm just curious. Uh, I just wanted to see what would happen, to be honest. All right. Okay, that must be the way station. And actually, help me understand, why would an island need anything like that anyway? Like, nobody's going anywhere. Doesn't the whole thing just go in a... Um, this was a, a mining island before the war. And the land, you know, as you can tell, it wasn't really conducive to most different ways of transport, so they dug into the hills and laid down tracks and carted the coal by freight to the, um, the pier for the boats. Can I ask you something? Y yeah, of course. You think I'm kind of a slacker idiot, right? Like, bit. I wouldn't find any of this stuff interesting? <laughs> Jonas, I think you're smart. Come on, what are you talking about? You're just lazy. Mm, I don't know. I just sometimes get these, like, whiffs of... I don't know. I can't think of the word for it. Superiority? No, not that. It's like, I don't know. Nah, it'll come to me. So with the time loop as well, Jonas can remember them at the start. This island has had many owners. Portuguese explorers, Spanish settlers, but few stayed long, preferring the ranch work offered by the mainland. After 1890, the island was gifted to Colonel Caleb Edwards for his part in the American Indian Wars, and he would lease it to several mining companies throughout the early 1900s. This relay station served as the center of a makeshift railroad that carted coal to northern and southern piers. When Edwards died, the government saw a hole in national security at the outset of World War II and decided to take control of the island once again, founding Fort Milner in 1941. This island has had many... Let's see if we can find Ren. So this is where Ren should be. Oh man, thank God. I thought you were a werewolf. Why would we be a werewolf? I've convinced uh, myself... Every ten feet's been a horrifying ordeal the entire way here, so you're lucky we made it. And I am grateful. I wouldn't have made it to the comm tower, okay? Trust me. I get lost in houses when there's more than two bathrooms. Do you have, like, any idea what's going on? Okay, that must be the way station. And actually, help me understand, why no, would an island need anything like that anyway? Ugh, Jonas, we're repeating the same stuff again. We are? Ugh, it's kind of weird that you can tell when it's happening and I can't, right? I mean, it's not like... I mean, I'm glad someone can tell, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'd be worried about it if I were you, because believe me, it's pretty obvious. There's your boy. Hey, Ren! We made it, finally! Um, Ren? Ren! 
Seriously, Ren, you can have a drug freak out on your own time. I don't have the patience to worry about you right now, so come on, look alive here. But what's he doing? Is he, like, sleepwalking? I don't know how he, like, fell asleep during all this, but... I've seen sleepwalking, okay? Michael sleepwalked, and the worst he'd do is take his pillow into the hallway. This is, like, something else. Ren? Are you in there? Come on, pal, the neighbors are here and they want to borrow some sugar. This isn't a guy on drugs. Not that I want to, like, alarm you. Ren! I hope you have a plan B. These radio tape things, but they... Let's do the one near the, um, the relay station. That's where Ren was, maybe that will fix. But what was our job going to be exactly? That's our job. About three square miles of limestone and coral. Okay, what do we do? We were going ashore through the choppy surf under the narrow beaches in the north. But what was our job going to be exactly? That's... <laughs> That's like the radio that the, um, the ghost is I using. don't know if you remember, but the last time we got stuck, we used one of these things to get out of it. So I'm not just messing around right now. Yeah, I remember. I remember. Kind of. Go. He was standing right there. Ren, are you still here? Maybe he's back in the relay. Ren must have used this to call us. Oh, it looks smashed. Maybe we shouldn't, um, go near him? Ren, can you... can you hear me? I mean, I know they say don't move somebody with a spine injury, but it's like... we gotta do something, right? Uh, this is a little different than a trampoline accident. He's, like, turning into the star child. I know, it's different. I know it's different. I'm just saying we should do something. I don't know what, but something. Is that the red light on the drops? What was our job going to be? I tried to scrap you and don't move the light because I was just going for a cup of light. Well, is this is that not a good It's doing something, but helping him, hopefully. I don't know. Jesus, Ren, are, are you... Oh, God. Talk through, child. Feels. Stretched. Better. No. Jonas, um, we're, we're 
were you in Ren? Ren. Kid. Home. Oh, Boy. Sometimes. But do not be scared. You are dolls. Would never plot. Hurt. Can we, uh, help you, or...? Leave. Possible. I... I, I don't know what you mean, so I can't... Grounded. Bye. Adler. So, uh, uh, Margaret. Pretty. Little. Poppy. Peggy Adler. That old woman? What does she have to do with it? That old woman was... Young. Once... Young. Once. Sit. Still. Bear. Fruit. Tag. Yeah. Ah! ah! Holy mother of God. You guys? God, Ren. Man. My Ren. Heart's... Jesus. Are, are you all right? Yeah. Just give me a second. Give me a week. Creepy. Why? Why is this? Why? Actually, thanks for coming, by the way. Sure. Why is this happening? I mean, I've been here. I visited this place like 15 times. And before now, the worst thing that ever happened was like, a kid would lose his shorts to the undertow. The island's haunted, Ren. Like haunted with memories or elevators on their period haunted? The second one. God, does anyone, is this thing working? Don't if anyone can hear this, out there, in a whatever, I, I'm at the con tower on Edwards Island. Hey, she listened to us. Great. So, if anyone can... What is this? I, I'm trying to communicate with the... Does she know how to even work that stuff? Doesn't sound like it. We should get back there before she freaks out and runs away again. So... Are we going back to the comm tower for Nona, or... Uh, we should round up Clarissa at Fort Milner first. Look, we'll split up. You guys do that. And I can go tend to the lovely damsel no, distressed in the old tower. I wish you wouldn't up. put it that way, but... Just keep it in your pants, okay? No promises! Actually, wait. That kind of sounds like I'm going to force myself on her. Yeah, I was just going to say... All right, well, guess we're going that away, so we'll see you at the comm tower. Hopefully with Clarissa. Don't do anything stupid! Not a problem. Splitting up's a terrible Milner idea. Milner Ho? Ho. Terrible idea. All right, help Clarissa. All right. Updated theory. So some sort of track radio dimension, but the old lady trapped them there somehow. Knowing my luck, they're going to be evil and murder everybody, but that's the theory I'm going with for now. Why is Ren still here? the bad one. Uh, what is that? Can anyone hear me? Anybody? Clarissa? Damn it, is, is this thing working? If anybody can hear me, I'm at Fort Milner in the, uh, I think, crap, I think in the gym or something? Well, she's around here somewhere. I was worried, honestly, that she, um, might have left. She sounded sort of scared. 
like in dire straits actual trouble right now scared? Look, I think we can all be included in whatever definition of trouble there is, so... Can you open the door? No. Ren said lock. something about Fort Milner being decommissioned, right? But, and hear me out, what if it isn't? What if they just said it was decommissioned, and there's, like, still people, like, in there, like, doing stuff? I think if they had alien autopsies or whatever you're suggesting is happening in there, we'd have been taken out by snipers about 50 paces back. Maybe. But listen, like, what if... Just, what if all the stuff that's, like, happened to us, the stuff we've been seeing, is, like, the direct result of some government secret project? Like, what if there's some, um, experimental, uh, program? Sure. I mean, I'm kind of in no place to toss aside any reason for what's been going on, so... Yeah, it's the government. Let's go with that. It's just my going premise right now, so... I don't know. Keep a tally. Yeah, it's just... No one knows what's going on. Don't dismiss it. He's just putting ideas out there. And get that radio... That radio I line. wonder, could this be one of them? Okay. So yeah, the red the red light seems to be the tune in for a radio horror event. Um, let's, let's go to this first. Clarissa! Where are you? Clarissa! Oh, forget it. Oh, when I start calling out, then forget it. Okay, your voice is a little annoying when you yell, but that's not why I said forget it. It's never too late to make dessert. Not anymore. <laughs> what the hell is this? Do you want to play a game? What you say? Oh, that door. All right, I know the answer is no, but we kind of do have to find Clarissa, so let's just ignore the question and thank the weird radio men for the door. Sorry, it's a bit... One, one thing... Waiting, because I'm waiting for them to stop talking before I select my answer. But photography it you're prohibited. That, time. that is a very serious sign. Restricted. Keep out. Now they're not messing around. Does the fine print? <sighs> Don't worry about it. Kids do this all the time. The worst that happens is you snag yourself on a nail or something and have to go get a tetanus shot. Let's go. Because this is the way to where Clarissa is, so we have to go this way. Oh, no, 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 no! Be locked. Come on. Oh, really? Yes, really. Well, Clarissa got in through some other door, so we should be fine, hypothetically speaking. Uh, speaking of which, she dated Michael? Is that right? <sighs> yes, quite annoyingly. I mean, was he the type of guy that would go for that, like, sort of thing? I'm just trying to... What sort of thing? What do you mean? You know, like, intense, I guess, is the word I'm trying to find. I mean, just from what I've heard of him, like that one story about the cops just straight buying him a beer? Just, what would a guy like that see in her? Like, at least at the start. 
There must have been something, right? Look, Jonas. Girls go for assholes and guys go for psychos for the same stupid reason. They're interesting. For a while. But that crap gets old fast. Huh. Okay. It's just, uh, interesting, I guess, to me. What's your type? Blonde, right? Nose ring? No, no. Tall, brunette, maybe a big hat, red raincoat, lots of mystique, been around the world. You're Some... describing Carmen San Diego. Oh, yeah. You know, that kind of explains a lot. I like Carmen San Diego. Ah, can you imagine sleeping here? I'm trying not to. But why would the construction guys leave the bed frames? Seems kind of, I don't know, kind of morbid. Yeah, it's, it's just strange to see it like this. Oh, lightning. Stuff the like worst. this. I always thought it was pretty. Kind of like, I don't know, kind of like the buildings being reclaimed by the trees and the soot and the soil, you know? Well, right now it just looks like scary tentacles, so. In the daytime, this is pretty much skater mecca. I can tell. Got a padlock. You can't pick this one, can you? No. We need, like, bolt cutters or something. Yeah, I don't know if we'll find that around here, though. I may be... Hey, that's... Clarissa! No, don't run after it. Don't just leave me here, Jonas! Wait! No. <sighs> Jonas, what happened? Are you all right? Split up. Jonas, can you hear me? All right, radio equals lock. I asked. Oh. This is my idea. Activity off our landing. Nineteen forty one, a speak of war has existed <coughs> at the Japanese Empire. I am in the latrino. It doesn't open the door. Okay. Because I saw it up there as well. Oh, it's the so same glad I'm playing this in the middle of the day. outside at all, but luckily this radio thing's working. Look, whatever. Clarissa's not in here, and it's just a room, so, like, riddle me that, first of all, and then, second of all, I can't get out. Uh, yeah. Hold on. I'll check. I, I can't hear anything outside at all, but there's just a really weird lock here. Does anything out there explain what this is? Radio lock. Hello? Are you... Look, is someone there? When Jonas gets on your, uh, case about his mom, just do what you feel is best, okay? H how is this possible? W what's going on? Ow! I'm okay. You know, I thought it was dark out there, but let me tell you, when you're trapped in a broom closet, it gets a lot darker. You know, I never wanted to be a DJ, and this isn't really enticing me to start, but I can sort of see the appeal now, you know? But I'd be a horrible talk radio guy, like just giving opinions. I wouldn't know what to say, really. I wouldn't want to do it anyway. It'd be like a slow, horrible death by anxiety or something, talking to all those listeners. And they have to get up at like 3 a.m., right? 
it's open. He's not in there. Okay, what just happened? Cause that, that sucked. Uh, Clarissa ran in there, disappeared into the walls, yeah, and- Yeah, I'm not really one to hate stuff, but I hated all of that. All right, that's creepy. Is this what you were talking to me on? Yep, old girl did the trick. Do you think maybe, uh, Clarissa was using this before? You know, to call us and everything? I guess there might be another comm room or something. It was locked, remember? How could she have gotten in? Same way I did, but then I don't really know how she could have gotten out. Alright. Oh, here's the code for the, uh, for the padlock. 3418. It's on a list of... Huh. They call codes cookies. Is that slang or something? I don't know, but we got the combo, so great. Hey, did I... Did, did you see that? In... in the mirror? The reflection. It was weird. Uh, don't think I'm nuts or anything, but my reflection kind of gave me, like, fatherly advice that made absolutely no sense when you were stuck just now. So... Wait. St okay, just don't be, like, stupid now. I just don't want anything to happen because you decided to play around. I'm not playing. I just want to... I just want to try this real quick. Uh, don't... Mirrors are creepy. Don't take photos of mirrors. And anything. <sighs> I'm just gonna pretend it didn't happen, so let's just carry on. Go back to the mirror? No, the mirror is bad. Mirrors. I wonder if mirrors are evil. It's like a false, a false view of reality. Oh, I'm gonna hate to go out in that. So actually, um, before we press on, I've had to go pee for like a while now, so since we're stuck anyway, I oh thought- Oh my god, go in the corner then. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know this is like way too much too soon for us right now, but I'm gonna totally explode. That is not the I'll corner. I'll force it out fast. This is, if the knight needed a capper, this is it, right here. My vagrant new stepbrother, peeing on a rat. Don't look at me. Be quieter. It's like louder than the rainstorm. I know the uh, acoustics are really carrying <laughs> it. Sorry. You good? Clarissa! Okay, that was definitely her. What is she... Is this just like a game to her or something? Clarissa, come back! We came to help you, don't... Ugh. You know, it just occurred to me, she could also be having like a Ren episode. A Renisode. Possessed, or whatever we want to call it. But Ren... Ren acted like he was underwater. The guy could barely move. Yeah, well, that's true. Hello? Is this thing... is this... God, is this... is this going out, or... Wait, I can... Ugh, oh, I can hear myself. That's oh, not... Oh, man, maybe God, she didn't see us. Anybody... I don't know, but whatever. She still has a radio, so we still got to get to her. Annoying. There's another one of those rocks. Let's see. The 
handprints are a macabre touch. Do you know who did that? Please tell me it's like a known thing teenagers here do or something. I really have no idea. Well, you really couldn't just say your friends do this for my own peace of mind. What was that? You... you heard that, right? Clearly, it's the, uh, the evil, obviously. Oh, yeah, yeah, the evil. Okay, of course. High in the Cascade Mountains of Washington, the Navy opens the world's largest radio transmitter. Its one million watts can flash a message around the world in a tenth of a second. Hey, kids, want to play a game? Ah. Uh. God, can you, man. can you believe this? No, I can't. Hangman? Be sharp and listen, mister. This is going to tell the classification board a lot about what can be expected of you in the future. How many questions will you be able to get in the allotted time? Like a test? Hey, why are we being tested? What did we do? Here's a simple one to start, so don't hold your breath. What is the name of the school you are standing in? Ten we're standing in? Isn't this- Uh, Fort Milner, right? I mean, that's not a- Our friends are finding this tough. Do you think us cruel? Do you think us callous? I don't care, just don't we hurt- We don't hurt playmates. Oh, Jesus. What is going on? Ugh, come on, guys. This isn't exactly fair now. Just keep the pointer on the button. Question two. What did the communications officers at Fort Milner call codes? Who Ten. would know that? You call codes cookies? There, now you're cooking. Coded radio transmitters have an important job, and you wouldn't want them to be unqualified. Uh, why on earth would I? What does this have to- We are an island race, and through all our times, the sea has ruled our breaks. All right, if I'm answering the questions, you can leave Jonas out of it, okay? One last round, and you've cleared your exam. Pencil's ready. How many officers died in the sinking of the USS Canaloa? Oh, Ten. The other ships, and how much Nine. To sail them. Above all Eight. victories, beyond all loss. Seven. In spite of changing values and Six. changing the world. Five. Four. Hey, uh, Three. Uh, this isn't a book about. What uh, happened in here? Fifty-three. You're off, Bob. That's not gonna cut it. 97 brave men and women died on the USS Canaloa. 85 officers, 12 passengers. It all adds up to another fact for the classification board. Just another fact among many. Here I am. I didn't need to get that far. What is going on? States submarine Canaloa is shown for the first time in Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Through the periscope, the commander looks out over the ocean's surface. 
Canaloa was lost today. Lost at sea, near. Is this? Are you the dead officers that sunk on the Canaloa? We are fast. sunken. What? What do you want? For the first time. For the first time. For the first time. Time. Just time. What? I. That was not fun. Are you feeling better? I'm feeling. Let's start with that. This has been United News. And thank you for listening. This is just unbelievable. Yeah. Anyone? Can anyone just... That's gotta be Clarissa. Let's get her and get out of here. Or use her radio and get out of here, but let's just get out of here. Can I do the light thing? Or is that it? Done. Orderly! Orderly! Can we go? Is this where Clue is? I guess there is. Clarissa's asleep right now. Be still so as not to wake her. Um. Uh huh? Cross your fingers. All right, come on. Nothing too scary, please. Uh, Clarissa. Oh my, I thought you said you were coming to help me. Where have you been? It couldn't possibly have taken this long to walk from the tower to here. I've Thank been sitting, be fumbling nice. around with this stuff. Look, I don't know. I know I told you we'd come here, and you know what? We did. We're here, ta-da. But Ren got himself stranded in the woods. You so went to get Ren first? Why would you do that? I'm sorry, but he's like the most useless one. He's like the, the, the bassist. Uh, do you have any idea what we had to slog through to get here? It's like a Halloween hayride you can't get off out there. I know what it's like, that's why I've been trying to contact anybody for the past like two hours. I don't know, I can't get it to do anything I want. Alex, wanna take a look at this? Yeah, thanks, Clarissa. Yeah, no, this is, this is like a low frequency thing. It, it's just meant for the base, it won't. I don't think it can be out. <sighs> really? No, no, no. Isn't there a way? These officers who know your problems full and well will give you a friendly and sympathetic hearing. Who is that? Cross your fingers. Jonas, wait. We're in another... <sighs> got looped again. Crap. Well, just keep me in the loop. I didn't mean to say that. Clarissa! Is oh there anything God. like... Can we cut her down with something? <sighs> Holy crap. What is it? Is something wrong? Or not? Whew. Just brace yourself, okay? All right. Clarissa? I would have swore she was in here. Better gone than dead. Oh, maybe this was the, the thing, the radio she was using. If we can get it to... I mean, she got it to kind of work, so... Yeah, it it only broadcasts within the within a short space. It's not going to do what we need it to. Really? How do you know? Jonas, we're in a loop. You already just it's okay. Knock yourself out. Clarissa. Oh, thank God, Clarissa. We saw but I saw you, Alex. Don't worry. She's like, I will never oh, forget that like I am an American, fighting for Clarissa, freedom, will you responsible wake for up? my actions. There will be other ships, and other souls to sail them. Oh my god! Why would she do that? Why would she do that? We're, we're, we're not, it's not like we're... She, she was, she was like possessed. I, I, I just, I, I just, uh, this is... Jonas, this is so horrible. I don't... I don't even know what to... 
We... We should get to the others. I... I can't even imagine telling them. Or... Or how to tell them. I mean... I don't even know how I can tell her mom. I mean, we... She knows me. This can't... Oh, God. And just the fact that I'm the one who... Who was here. And... God. We'll... We'll figure it out. Wow. Um... There's no way she got up from that, right? Like, there's no way. We both saw... Wait, she's... Alive? How... How is... How is that possible? I'd bet all the money in my pocket that no one could survive that. So why isn't she here? This isn't possible, because... We did just go through a... Uh, sort of a... Temporal anomaly. A, a time thing? Maybe it's screwed with what happened? Well, regardless... Good news? Yeah. We'll see. So where to now? there for this one um, thanks very much for watching and I'm really enjoying this any comments please leave them and we'll catch you next time